Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to create a MemSQL Helios cluster. MemSQL Helios is a managed cluster in the cloud, so we don't need to worry about any of the infrastructure behind it. We're going to start off by going to memsql.com slash Helios 8 hour trial. We'll verify our email, log into the portal, and create a new cluster. From there, we'll open the MemSQL Studio, the cloud-based SQL manager. So let's dive in. MemSQL.com slash Helios 8 hour trial will ask us for our first name and last name. We'll also fill in other details like our email, our company name, we'll click continue. From there, we'll get the verify email screen. I'll pop open my email and I'll click on verify email address. Now we can choose to download MemSQL and install it on our own infrastructure, but in this case, I'll choose a cloud-hosted Helios cluster. We'll create our cluster name. And now we can choose the type of environment. In this case, we'll choose development. Other options are available once we sign up for a full Helios license. And we can also choose what environment we'd like to put it in, uh, Amazon or Google Cloud. Cluster options are available with a full Helios license. Let's create next. It'll ask us for the admin password. And we want to only allow access from a specified IP range. I'm going to add my current IP address to this range, and I'll create cluster. Now it'll take it a little bit to create this cluster, so we'll pause the video while it creates. Our cluster is now created. We can see the details that we chose as we created the cluster. Here's our admin username and password. We can edit the IP addresses. And here's where we open MemSQL Studio. Opening MemSQL Studio, we can see the details of our database. The SQL editor will let us create and edit content in our database. We got to see creating a MemSQL Helios cluster. We signed up at memsql.com slash Helios 8 hour trial. We verified our email, logged into the portal, and we created a cluster. MemSQL Studio allows us to then create content and edit schema in our database. 